Niko katika jengo la bunge na ni siku ya kwanza kwa viongozi waliochaguliwa kwa vyama tofauti na leo hii niko na Jematia Kimon aliyechaguliwa kama mwakilishi wa kike katika kaunti ya Baringo alikuwa na hudumu kama mbunge wa Iyala na sasa anahudumu katika bunge la Kenya Mheshimiwa ujambo Si jambo sana Uh, experience ya ku transition from uh, bunge la Iyala kuja bunge la Kenya. Mimi niko nikiongea kwa sasa nimechaguliwa kama mwakilishi bunge wa, wa, wa wanawake, wa, vijana na walemavu hapa Kenya. Eh, lakini bado nawakilisha jumuiya kama mbunge mwakilishi kutoka Kenya. Tuambie baadhi ya mambo ama zile success stories uliweza kufanya pale uh, katika bunge la Iyala. Bunge la Yala mwanzo ni kujuana na wabunge ambao tunatoka eneo tofauti ama nchi za tofauti tofauti. E, ilikuwa kama kuleta ule uhusiano wa karibu katika jumuiya na nita nime, tumefanya kazi mingi kuleta pamoja zile sheria za nchi zote na tuweze kuwezesha sheria ambazo zinaweza itasaidia wakazi wa jumuiya waweze kufanya biashara waweze kutembea uhuru katika jumuiya waweze pia kuwa na ile barua au ile documents kama visa za kutembea bila kuwa na matatizo ama kuzuiliwa pia ningesema jumuiya eh, hata nikiwa mkenya nikiwa hapa Kenya kama mwakilishi wa Kenya sasa nitakuwa nitakuwa ndani ya jumuiya na hizo ma maneno ambazo tulikuwa tunafanya ama sheria ambazo tulikuwa tunatunga wakati ule bado tunaendelea. Asante kwa wale e, wapiga kura wangu kutoka Baringo na nitazidi kuwafanyia kazi ndio ni mwanza safari na najua tutaendelea na tutafanya kazi zaidi. Mheshimiwa unachaguliwa kuwa mwakilishi wa kike wa kaunti ya Baringo uh, wakati ambapo kuna visa vingi vya cattle rustling. Je, unapanga kukabili uh, tatizo hili? Eh, tatizo hili nitaweka kwenye sheria kwanza kuangalia jinsi ambavyo tutaweza ku, kukatiza tatizo ambazo wa, eh, wale mahadui au walifu wanaweza kuwa eh, wana, wana, wanapoenda kuiba ngombe, kuvurusha watu kwa kutunga sheria na pili kuweka mikakati ya sheria kwa kupitia kwa kitengo cha sheria kwa kitengo cha usalama ili waweze kuzuia na watu warudi kwao waweze kuwa eh, waregeshe nyumbani watoto warudi shule na kadhalika sasa kazi yangu kama mjumbe ni kuwakilisha na kuhakikisha hiyo tabia ya kuua au kunyanyasa imesitishwa kupitia uwezo ya serikali ambayo ni serikali mpya wa rais mtarajiwa William Samoei Ruto kwa wakati mmoja tulikusikia ukisema kuwa wenyeji wa huko utawanulia bunduki we mwenyewe. Je, yeah. bado una wakati huo nilikuwa na machungu sana kwa sababu nilifika pale wale watu wamevurushwa na wanauliwa kwa mtutu wa bunduki. Na nikasema hivyo kwa sababu ile uwezo ya mimi au hawa kujisaidia ni kuwa na ile uwezo ya kujisaidia kupitia huyo bunduki ambao hawana. Nikasema kama serikali ya wangeweza ama hawezi kufanya au kusaidia basi wananchi sisi tushikane tujisaidie kwa kujinulia bunduki na risasi ili tujisaidie hivyo ndio nilikuwa namaanisha mimi okay. asante sana mheshimiwa mheshimiwa abraham kirwa yeah. umekaa for more than 25 years na umerudi sasa kuwa mbunge wa mosob how does it feel it is very exciting coming back home you know wakati tunaenda ngambo tunaambiwa muende ngambo mchitaidi mufanye kazi mukisha faulu murudi nyumbani na mkirudi nyumbani watoto watafurahi na kila mtu atafurahi so nilirudi nyumbani ndio nitafute kazi ya kusaidia watu huko bunge so nimepata nafasi nimechakuliwa na watu wa mosop ni kuje parliament so that we can legislate so i'm very excited actually because not many people get this opportunity hata wale wako nyumbani wata wakijaribu namna gani wakati mwingi hawawezi kupata nafasi lakini tunashukuru kwa sababu watu wa masobo walipatia nafasi wakati huu ni kuje bunge ndio tuone policies na legislations yenye zitasaidia tunaweza pitisha ndio at least uh, watu wa masobo wawe better than before unajua kwa muda mrefu nilikaa ngambo kwa miaka iliyopita ilio, 20 over 20 years I've gotten a chance to experience democracy in a different level. 
I've gotten a chance to see systems that work. I've gotten a chance to see people who work hard. So after all those years, I, I really wanted to come back and be part of change. You know, sometimes you talk from outside. Ni kama wakati unacheza mbira. Unacheza mbira, there are people who are spectators and they, 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 they think that they can play better until they go to the ground. Wakifika chini, inakuja kwa shida. So me, I've decided to come and be part of change in this country, to be part of what's happening on the ground. So I want to encourage parents. Kwa sababu kasi meisha opportunities yu nyingi sana Africa, kama Tanzania, kama Kenya, kama Uganda, kuna vijana wingi wamemaliza shule wa kunyumbani, wasasi wameuza shamba, wasasi wameuza ngombe, wasasi wameuza malizao nyingi. Lakini, Vijana ama watoto wakisha maliza kasi, uh, shule, hakuna job. So you just ask yourself now, sincerely speaking, what do we do? So one of the things that I want to do is to look for opportunities kutuma watoto outside the country. I want them, there is opportunities now to go to Australia, opportunities ya kuenda huko Amerikani, ya kuenda Canada, ya kuenda Finland, simefunguka. So one of the things that I want to find myself ni kutuma watoto wa ending up. Kwa sababu nilipo enda ngambo, nikapata opportunity to change my life. I really changed my life when I went out of the country. So I truly want to use my networks, my relationships, na maso mwenyeni mipata kutuma watoto wa ende ngambo, wachitaidi, wahasul, wakirudi, watoto, uh, wasazi wao nyumbani will be a better place. Na ukilinganisha bunge la Kenya na lile bunge la America, wae sasema kuna tafauti gani? kuna tofauti kubwa sana kwa sababu unajua Marekani wamekuwa na democracy kwa miaka uh, mia mbili. hapa Kenya hatujafikisha miaka mia moja. bado tuko mbali lakini mi naona tunaendelea tu kama hizi elections tulifanya juzi nilifurahia sana sana kwa sababu nikaona democracy imeanza kwenda juu kwa sababu tulifanya election atakuwa na vita watu wakaona transparency hakuna mtu alisema kura ilibiwa so nikaona kweli kwamba democracy inaendelea kwenda juu na inaendelea kwenda juu na i'm very very sure another few years kenya will be a model to most of the african countries kwa sababu we cannot really compare with america but where we are going is a better place it's a better place huko of course marekani uh, systems inafanya kazi hakuna mambo ya hongo hakuna mambo ya nini lakini waje ni kuambie hapa mali tunaenda i'm very sure even with the new president coming in and the policies that is already put in place to help the young people the hasla nation it will be a big difference it will be a big difference na mimi najua ni mfanye kazi atafanya kazi mingi na itasaidia nchi yetu ya Kenya kwa majina naitwa dr daniel manduku na wakilisha eneo bunge la nyariba alimasaba katika kaunti ya kisi na unajihisi vipi huu ni mula wako wa kwanza wa kuhudumu kama ya... kwanza ni kusema shukrani kubwa kwa wale walionichagua na kuhakikishia kwamba mimi nimejitolea kufanyia kazi na kuambia wale ambao tulishindana nao pia waje tujunge pamoja tujenge eneo letu la bunge pili nimekuja hapa ili nifanye vyovote kurekebisha maisha ya watu wetu aidha iwe kupitia kwa bunge ama kwa mambo ya oversight hasa tuwapelekee maendeleo kule mashinani kwa mara nyingi maendeleo nyingi sana huonekana katika mijini lakini sisi tunatoka maeneo ambayo ni ya mashambani zaidi kwa hivyo tuko hapa ili tuhakikisha kwamba hata watu wetu pale nyumbani wamepata maendeleo Uh, tuambie kuhusu siku ya leo je umeweza kuonyeshwa nini uh, leo tumekuja hapa sana sana kupewa vitambulisho uh, kufanya mambo ya registration na kuonyeshwa vile bunge yafanya kazi vile tunapiga kura pale ndani kwa chamba tukuonyeshwa uh, mahali pa kukula eh, pia <laughs> na pia tukuonyeshwa wale ambao tutakuwa tukishirikiana na hawa kwa mambo ya usalama mambo ya uh, hospitali 
na kadhalika okay. wewe ukiwa mtaalamu katika maswala ya port operation and all that je labda una una, una panga kufanya kitu kusukuma jambo kusiana na hili uh, kuna mambo mengi sana ambayo mimi nimepanga kujaribu kusukuma nilileta miswada mingi sana ambayo aswa itakisha kwamba watu wetu wameinuka kwa hali ya kimaisha sio lazima iwe mambo ya port ama mambo ya barabara no lakini haswa mambo ya masomo mambo ya maji na mambo ya maendeleo kwa kijamii mimi naitwa captain Ruida Mohamed na wakilisha lamu mashariki a ah, mimi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu muhula kwanza alikuwa women rep muhula huu wa pili nimeweza kupata kiti cha eneo bunge yale majukumu yangu yote Mungu amenipa na panga ni yatekeleze lakini ile iko kwa roho yangu zaidi ni hapa bungeni kuhakikisha eh, sheria zimepita ambazo hazimgandamizi mvuvi ya pili kule mashinani nataka kuongezea sana na zaidi upande wa elimu kwa sababu elimu sasa hivi tuko nyuma E, mwisho results zilotoka za mwisho ilikuwa kuna C plus C, C, C moja na ni moja tu C plane so imaanisha wengine wote ni madi so niko na kazi kubwa mbele yangu Mungu akipenda nitahakikisha upande wa elimu tumeinua tutafanya liwe liwalo paka elimu ya alama mashariki iboreshe afternoon uh, members of the fourth estate uh, good afternoon colleagues um, We have come to the close of our two day orientation exercise which we have found to be very successful. The exercise was basically intended to enable us introduce um, the members elect to the national assembly but also to obtain very important documents and information from the members for purposes of facilitating them. As at 4:30 p.m. today a total of 275 members out of the expected 333 uh, members elect turned up and were taken through the orientation exercise this number represents over 80% turnout We want to appreciate all members elect for turning out and providing the required information we are put in place plans for orientation of the remaining 58 members elect who could not make it to this exercise for one reason or another we also hope to include the four members uh, elect expected to be elected in the election scheduled for monday 29th of august 2022 in the four remaining constituencies and also the 12 nominated members should they be gazetted in the course of next week in this regard an abrief version of the exercise will continue on monday 29th tuesday 31st and tentatively on friday 2nd of september in the small dining at the main parliament buildings moving forward we await His Excellency the President's gazettement of the first sitting of Parliament in which we shall swear in the members elect and facilitate the House to elect the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker. Thereafter, we shall roll out an elaborate induction program which is intended to prepare members to effectively discharge the constitutional mandate once the house commences its sittings we take this time to assure our members elect and the general uh, public that we shall continually update them on key developments leading to the first sitting of the house and any other important information to enable them settle in readiness for the commencement of the house as i conclude this brief i want to take this opportunity on behalf of the members of staff and the management of the national assembly to appreciate you the media for notifying the members covering the event extensively and enabling the general public to stay informed on what we have been doing 
We consider you our valued partners and we look forward to continuing to engage with you. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.